Honor's View 20 is a phone straight out of the future. The blue Aurora glass finish looks very pretty and the phone as a whole is sleek and premium. It weighs in at about 180 grams and is 8.1 millimeters thin, which is thinner and lighter than most flagships in spite of having the same aluminum and glass chassis. One thing in particular that I love is that the phone isn't slippery at all and little things like the textured power button really go a long way. With this phone, you truly learn to love display technology. It's a 1080p panel unlike any we've seen before. The 6.4 inch display has a punch hole cutout to it, different from the notch screens we've seen in the past. Even though it's got the bezel-less design, Honor's done remarkably well to fit in an LED notification light, ambient sensors and face unlock technology using the camera, but no dual speakers unfortunately. At the same time, the rear also houses a fast and responsive fingerprint scanner, so you don't get the most sophisticated in-screen scanner we're starting to see, but this serves the purpose really well. But back to that punch hole style design. For me, I think this is the near perfect solution to a bezel-less smartphone until we can figure out under display cameras. And I'll tell you why. In most cases, the punch hole has a foreseeable advantage because it just doesn't get in the way. Generally while navigating, the corner is the last place you look so it's perfect. Or when you're watching video content, this is the minimal distraction. But yes, the implementation is far from perfect. When you're navigating UI or applications, for example, the notification bar becomes a bit larger to include the hole punch. So it just looks a bit awkward and sort of feels like a software bezel that's replaced the hardware bezel. Or in some applications which aren't yet optimized, the camera does obscure the way a little. But at the end of the day, these are small things that software changes and updates can definitely make much better. Another part of Honor's selling point are those cameras. The front hole punch is a 25 megapixel sensor while the main cameras are dual 48 megapixel sensors. Honor's also shown a lot of emphasis with AI photography and that shows on the software side of things. As a side note, the 48 megapixel setting I talked about isn't the default photography setting the phone comes with, with the camera application set to take pictures at 12 megapixels as a standard. As far as how pictures come out, it's a bit harder to tell. In tricky high dynamic range scenarios, the phone has a hard time bringing out detail in subjects of the photograph, but in less complex scenarios, the detail and colors are quite good. The 48 megapixel image versus the 12 megapixel image, I couldn't really tell a major difference, which was surprising. Whereas using AI specifically, I think the effect is a bit too exaggerated with some artificial coloring, especially when taking pictures of flowers, for example. In low light, the camera isn't very good on its own, especially where ambient lighting is the least, but using night mode improves the image drastically. Just sometimes low light scenarios, the night mode is a bit inconsistent and can blow out the colors on the image, which was a bit annoying. The selfie 25 megapixel camera isn't too shabby either, both during the day and night, but it does take a bit of getting used to considering the placement of the camera on the top left corner of the phone. There is a drop off in quality when using the portrait mode feature at night, but if you're looking to use the camera for social media, you should have no problems. I'll be doing some more detailed camera comparisons on the channel shortly, so do look out for those videos coming up. Now in today's day and age, flagship smartphones rarely stutter or lag, and for the Honor View 20, you get the Kirin 980 processor on board and the Mali G76 GPU, which makes using the phone an absolute breeze. I really like the phone's performance, whether that's day to day or when multitasking using the 8GB of RAM on board, because this thing keeps everything in memory. The battery on board is also a 4000mAh cell, which is plenty good for a day's worth of moderate use and also shows some good standby times. Unfortunately, the phone doesn't come with wireless charging support, but it does offer Huawei supercharging, which takes the phone up to 55% in 30 minutes. So that's the Honor View 20. It's Honor's first serious attempt at a true flagship phone in years, especially in the Middle Eastern market, and I think it's a huge step in the right direction. I can't wait for what Honor has in store for us in the coming years, and they definitely look exciting. As always, thank you guys for watching this video on the Honor View 20. Let us know what you think down in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to see more videos coming up very shortly. I'll see you in the next one. Adios!